I descended the stairs to Rosie's room. Forty-three minutes had passed. I knocked on the door, and Rosie answered, now wearing a sleeping costume that was in fact more revealing than the towel. She was holding two glasses of champagne. Sorry, it's gone a bit flat. I looked around the room. The bed cover was turned down, the curtains were closed, and there was just one bedside lamp on. I gave her Jean's book. Since this is our first, and probably only, time, and you are doubtless more experienced, I recommend that you select the position. Rosie thumbed through the book, then started again. She stopped at the first page, where Jean had written his symbol. Jean gave you this? It was a present for the trip. I tried to read Rosie's expression and guessed anger, but that disappeared and she said in a non-angry tone, Don, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I'm really sorry. Did I say something wrong? No, it's me. I'm really sorry. You changed your mind while I was gone. Yeah, said Rosie. That's what happened. I'm sorry. Are you sure I didn't do something wrong? Rosie was my friend and the risk to our friendship was now at the forefront of my mind. The sex issue had evaporated. No, no, it's me, she said. You were incredibly considerate. It was a compliment I was unaccustomed to receiving. A very satisfying compliment. The night had not been a total disaster.